play? Yeah, Pac-12, first ever Pac-12 game um, for us and for Cal. Um, I think it's pretty exciting. Um, I know I had a chance just to watch uh, Colorado-Stanford, and you could feel how exciting it was for the whole conference and then for us to get our, our game off at 6 p.m. Um, really exciting. I think for women's lacrosse it's huge um, for the sport to have the Pac-12 involved, um, to be a sponsored sport. I think something we talked about a lot for this game, um, and talking about the patches for the first time being on on their sleeves. So um, it was a it was a it was a hard fought battle. I think um, you know I think Cal felt that as well that they were in a Pac-12 game and they brought it. Um, they didn't let up and they came at us and we had to keep switching things up. Um, I think when our D settled in, they were. They were the, the difference makers for us today. I thought Britt Reed and Cage and their defense just, just was really giving up. Um, they did shoot a lot, but just shots we wanted to see, shots Britt could save. Um, and then our defense, um, I mean, our offense, we had some lulls, but they came back out, um, switched up our shooting a little bit, and we were able to pull away um, and really focus in that last 15 minutes to, to get back the momentum. Did it feel to you like 8-6 was kind of the danger zone? They had scored a couple, and then you got some saves and were able to kind of fend off the Yeah, kid. we were at 8-6 for a while. Yeah. Felt like that was that was when the game was back and forth and back and forth. Um, so I knew one team. I was I was thinking about a timeout if it went 8-7. Um, we went 9-6. I thought we settled down. Um, like I said, when your D is playing, playing that well, gives you confidence as a coach to know, okay, we're getting stops. We'll figure out how to score. Um, but yeah, I, I felt like it was at 8-6 for an eternity. And I'm glad these guys picked it up. We talked on the sidelines a little bit, and they picked it up and just, like I said, changed up their shots, um, changed up the offense a little bit, and it started to work for us. For girls, do you feel like, did you, would you have counted on it getting off the start you did? I mean, coming off the layoff and everything? Yeah. Yeah? I think so, yeah. And I always get really excited and pumped to play them. Um, we all, I think we always do really well against them, and this year I thought we would come out and we came out like we like we wanted to play, and we yeah. were really, I mean, we had a very big break in between games, so we were amped and excited. Yeah, it seemed like you could either be kind of rusty because of that or really fired up and ready to go. How'd you get yourself in the right mindset to kind of start well? I mean, we've been, like, itching all week to play. <laughs> yeah, it felt kind of really like hungry. the first game of the season again, so that was definitely got everyone excited. Yeah, going off on that, it's been two weeks or almost two weeks since you guys had played a game. Uh, how were you guys able to start off so hot? You guys scored the first four goals within the first four minutes of play. Uh, how were you guys able to prepare so well against Cal to start off so hot against them? Um, we watched a lot of film, and if you look at Syracuse and Canisius, uh, I think both games were 6-2 uh, to start. And I think that's the maturity of our team, and that was the advantage. We had a week and a half, so all we could do is watch ourselves. And that was a point of emphasis to, to, not, to not wait and ease into the game. Start out, make them have to call the first time out, uh, make them have to make adjustments. And um, I'm, I'm, I did say that was the first check mark. That was something we want to do. Now we have to add building onto that lead. When you get it to 4 nothing, keep building, keep trusting. And their teams are going to score. And you just got to bounce back and, and keep making plays. But um, I was happy to see that that was a huge thing for the coaching staff and the players. And they, f they followed through that. Um, when we head out on Sunday against the Stanford team, we're going to have to, we're going to have to play the whole 60 minutes. Can't just, can't just focus on the first five. You got to play the whole 60 minutes. Um, and we'll get them ready. When there was kind of that lull there in the second half, Shannon, you had those back to back goals coming around the net. I mean, did you kind of know at that moment you had to kind of be more aggressive and initiate something offensively? Um, yeah, I think they were, we were talking on the sideline, like she said, and I think I just needed to, like, relax from the first half because I had a few shots that weren't um, great. So, and then coming back out, I mean, can we talked, and we worked really well behind and just, like, figuring out what we were going to try, and it worked, so that was good. What's something that you guys want to look at to try and uh, cut that maybe cut down a little bit on the, like the giving the other team the free position shots because uh, uh, Cal got quite a few of those and it made the game a little bit close at times. So what are you in my in my huddles? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we um, we want to help on defense and we're getting caught a little bit helping for too long and getting three seconds. Um, so we talked about that. Um, that you, you got to be able to see your ball girl and stay close enough and then a, and, and go help within that three-second realm, um, which is tough for non-lacrosse.
stands to really understand. Um, and then when we when we slide, we can't come in swinging. We're sliding just to get her to pass the ball. We're not sliding to turn her over. Um, it's a dangerous player, and you're going to get called every time you come swinging. Um, but, yeah, they had some we talked about. They had seven free positions, um, and that's that's just too many um, against us, and, and that's how teams build easy comebacks. And we talked about that last time out. I think it was 11-6, uh, and we really want to focus limiting that, that opportunity. And those, those first two free position shots went in, but then – Brittany Reed was able to step up, get some of those stops. What did you think of her performance overall tonight? Yeah, the second half was a uh, difference maker. I thought, um, you know, I thought defensively we played really strong. I thought the first, Cal's first two possessions, um, and maybe it's, you know, you go up 4 nothing. Lexi wins four draw, draw controls in a row to start the game. They haven't played defense probably, what was it, five minutes. It was, it was quick. So they haven't seen a possession and just an easy down the alley and then another down the alley, low angle. So I was glad to see her bounce back after those um, and her defense to adjust. But um, we practice eight meters. She's been itching to play better and play to, to her potential. So I thought um, 25 had a rip, that one. That was, that was nice. So I can't fault Britt. That was an absolute rocket rip. So... Um, you know, someone is a goalie, and that's why you don't want to put them on the eight meter. If someone's powerful and can shoot hard, that's a, that's a disadvantage for your goalkeeper. So, um, but I thought she stepped up in a big way in the second half. Candy, you assisted on all four of Mariah's goals. Can you just sort of walk me through uh, that relationship between uh, you two on the field? Um, we're very close off the field, um, and I think the four of us actually all four attackers are very close off the field. We take that on the field. As far as her specifically, I mean, I, l I'm lucky as a feeder is where she's taller than every <laughs> defender she's on. So if I just pop it up a little high, she knows how to bring it up and down and essentially slam dunk into the, <laughs> I mean, she really does. And so I have to credit her. I mean, she does a great job getting open and we've just worked together for four years now. I, I mean, I know what she does, like the back of my hand. So um, it worked today and yeah, I'm just very fortunate for her height and how she gets open.